up it is bones and let's go ahead and do a topic video now I do these every once in a while when there's a topic that I want to talk about usually regarding the McFarlane DC multiverse or the McFarlane lines that are being released now the main topic today is going to be the recently released images of the flashpoint flash now of course this is the collect to build cyborg wave that is exclusive to Target. now the main thing i want to talk about is the fact that they did show the images of the figure and then they also showed an unmasked version now in the description it did say that both heads will come with the figure and let's go ahead and get into it first of all i am not a big proponent of putting two heads with one figure now of course this is because of my own collecting habits uh when i collect if a figure comes with two heads then i must display both versions so that entails having two bodies to display both versions now this goes all the way back to dc universe classics and then that also took me into the Mattel DC Multiverse line where when a figure came with two heads, I had to buy two figures to go ahead and display both versions. <laughs> now, trust me, I know this is my own personal problem. If you could see under here, you would see my dimples right now because I am laughing at myself because I was trying to put this off for so long. I always just hope that McFarlane would not go into putting two heads with one figure. Now this has happened once before in the McFarlane DC Multiverse line and that of course was the White Knight Jack Napier like uh, Gotham SWAT team figures. So that package actually had the Jack Napier head and then the alternate Jokerized head. So of course in that time I had to go ahead and buy three figures one to keep in package, one to display the Jack Napier head, and one to display the Jokerized head. Now I also went ahead and customized my Jokerized version. I painted the arms white, the ball joints white, just to make it match more with the head because of course McFarlane missed that little detail. I think I even painted the neck white just to give it the full treatment. And this is how I actually display these two figures up on my shelf side by side so let's go ahead and bring out this was the Jack Napier figure just regular skin tone and then I also have the Jokerized version so this is actually how they are on my shelf displayed even though it is actually just one figure released I actually get two out of it because of my sickness that I have to <laughs> display both versions. God, you're sick. So when people would complain and argue saying that why does McFarlane give us one figure and then he gives us another figure but with a alternate head or unmasked head and a lot of people would be really aggravated by this. Of course I was not one of them because this is how I collect. So that kind of kept me from having to buy three figures. Now I'm not opposed to buying three figures if you know me you know i've actually bought even four or five of certain figures it just depends on like the custom work that i want to do or if i really enjoy a figure or if i just happen to randomly uh, find a rare figure that you don't really see a lot then i'll just go ahead and buy it because you don't always come across those rare figures so basically the only difference for me i mean it's not a, a money thing or it's not anything like that i'll still go ahead and buy multiple figures the thing is that before each head i bought came with a body and now when we buy these figures that have two heads you'll have two heads but only one body now there is actually a problem already and that is that in the unmasked flash where he has the mask kind of like draped around his neck his neck is actually still red so i can already see what i'm going to do i'm going to buy three of those figures I'll uh, keep one in box for my mint in box unopened collection. I will display one with the flash head and then I will display the unmasked version but I will be painting the neck flesh tone. So 
all, <laughs> all in all, for me, it actually works out. It's not a big deal. It's just that sometimes I would only have to buy two figures, although they were like alternate versions or, or alternate heads of each one. But now for sure, I'm going to have to go ahead always and buy three so that I could display both versions of the head sculpt. Now, this could not be all figures. I'm pretty sure McFarlane isn't going to make this a regular thing where a lot of the figures are going to start coming with both heads. Mm, I actually think it's going to be more rare than we think. I just have a feeling that it's going to take a long time for McFarlane to start giving two heads with each figure. Now, this was a pretty simple one. The reason being because it actually is the body that they use for Blue Beetle and Booster Gold and also Dead Man. You can tell this like by the hands, the ab cut. Uh, it, you could just tell that it's this is the body that they're going to use to make that Flash figure. Now the emblem was not sculpted on, it's just painted on, which is something they're doing with this buck when they reuse it. So that saved McFarlane a lot of money on the sculpt. So that's why I'm pretty sure he's able to, to add the two heads and the two versions of them. Now, if we go all the way back to Rebirth Flash, which was the original sort of comic version of Flash, a lot of people complained that he was too tall. But I love this figure. This is an awesome figure. He had a lot of cool detail and running pose ability. And I'm still happy with this one, but it will be cool to get another version of a Flash. Now, you actually, if you put these two next to each other, you can see that the buck that they use for the Dead Man is actually a little bit shorter. Not too much, but it is, even though he does have some bulky thighs, he is actually a little bit shorter. So when you get this Flash, he will actually fit in a little bit better with the rest of your Justice League. So that's a positive that's coming out of that. I'm not really scared that they're <laughs> that he's that McFarlane is doing this. I mean, it, it is what it is. I'll always be able to collect my figures the way I like and buy multiples if I feel like it. But it's just something you know that people don't understand that when you get a different head and you get its own body, then you have the ability to display both versions. And when you get one figure with two heads, you now you're gonna have tons of heads that are extra that are just going to be in a box with fodder which is also not a bad thing i mean we could have more heads to do customs with so it kind of is also a positive now as you know when you buy alternate heads on online they do cost about 20 maybe even 25 maybe even 30. Uh, I've, I've seen them as cheap as 15 but these are like these resin heads that you buy to make like alternate versions i did buy one for this Dark Knight Returns Superman. Now, I, when I bought it, it was like the gray, just resin color, and I had to go ahead and repaint it. Um, the eyes were probably like the hardest part, but once I got done, it did make a cool looking Dark Knight Returns Superman. But when you buy alternate heads, you're basically paying for a full figure. So if you get a body, and you don't like the head and you decide to buy an alternate head then you're already paying double without the other body and then you have that head left over you know you could use it for extra parts and stuff like that which i'm not against but i just do think that it's going to bring up a lot of issues and a lot of different complaints i mean now they're always going to want alternate heads if mcfarland ever releases two different versions with alternate heads <laughs> you know the uproar is going to begin but it is what it is. I mean, we're here to enjoy these figures and enjoy collecting, and it should not ever be something negative. So that's why you always see me like as, you know, cool and calm and collected. I try not to let figures, you know, control my life or control like my mood or my attitude. But just don't ever forget <laughs> that I am a savage beast, and I just usually like to keep it cool and calm. But you guys, Keep hunting out there, keep collecting, keep customizing, and I will see you on the next one. You used to call me Crazy Joe, but now they can call me Batman.